All right, hey, welcome back to the Sloppy Model, or welcome back to the uh, Viper Mark II from Battlestar Galactica. Uh, just a lot of pieces and parts of what we've done so far. It's all in prep work uh, just to start building this thing. We, we're, we're not quite there, but uh, we've made good progress. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we've got, uh, where we're at. And uh, what we've what we've accomplished. So um, let's start with this piece. First of all, what we did, what I did here was um, remove the interior detail of the back of the engines. And uh, one thing to keep in mind: this uh, top engine is slightly smaller than the two uh, other um, lower engines. So if you've got parts of Photoshop, uh, Photo Etch, uh, keep that in mind because it can make a, a bit of a difference there for you. So anyway, we've uh, we, I hollowed that out and then took my uh, needle files and um, basically cleaned them up and now we're ready to um, throw some light blocking on that because that, that'll be next is we'll paint the interior black, a uh, couple coats and then a coat of white um, just to bounce the light around in there. We've also got the Photoshop pieces kind of ready to go and there's two choices. For this, the first choice uh, or one choice is uh, are these much uh, larger openings to let a lot of light through, and then this has more detail, so you can choose which one you want there. I think I'm going to go with these here, and those are ready to prime at that stage. So that's kind of one of the pieces of the photo etch. Um, the other thing that I did last night um, is this is the piece for the heads-up display. And it needed to be backlit, but there's not a lot of space to do that in there in the cockpit. And we'll come back to that in a minute. So what I did is threw a piece of tape over the front of this, supported this uh, uh, LED. Uh, it's an SMD uh, in the glue, and then I put uh, the white white glue in there. So hopefully I can. Oh, that's fantastic! So uh, that has been glued in. And a little bit of nope, that's just awesome. Uh, and when that lights up, uh, basically we'll put this piece of photo etch over the front of it, and then a piece, uh, or I'm sorry, this piece of uh, backlight over the front of it, and um, then a piece of photo etch goes over the top and over the face of it. So, but I wanted to glue that in and get that started. Uh, this has been painted a light gray already. Uh, but you won't see much of that. But that essentially fits into the cockpit. And in the cockpit here, what we've done is we've gone ahead and used our chisel here and shaved off all of this detail in here and then used my drill with a, a 132nd, I'm sorry, a 364th bit. So that is really a nice bit and just drilled through wherever there's going to be light coming in through it. This piece is pretty nice. This is the front uh, um, uh, display module and there's a piece of photo etch that goes over all of this. So that essentially fits down in here like so. So and then this piece here. Uh, give me just a second here. Let's see if I can accomplish this or not. Superb. All right, so that piece there fits through, and the bottom section just want to be really delicate with that uh, wire and really delicate with uh, that part because that's pretty tiny. Okay. All right, so that is how that is going to fit into there. 
and what I had to do was drill a little tiny hole in the back of that and then this piece fits in like so. Yeah, so maybe you can see that there. That piece will fit in like that and glue in and then I can run my wiring underneath it and then that'll be lit up, backlit from the back. That's the only way to really get light to that and that's got a full SMD and I'm going to put a large resistor on that like maybe a, on this 5 volt system like maybe a 480 maybe in a 1k resistor. I don't want a ton of light just blaring you in the eye so we're going to have to work on that a little bit to see what that turns into. So that is the lighting for that heads up display and again that's just a little 0805 uh, SMD inside glued inside of there with uh, canopy glue. Next is how do we light this bad boy up because it, there's a couple of, of pieces that are going to go over it, on it, around it. Oh, here, sorry. So these have to be painted uh, the same sky gray that I use for that, but um, basically That fits over the top like that, so I need to paint that interior sky gray as well, uh, and the top of that sky gray, so we'll have to go in and, and work on that part. But that goes over the top of that side, this goes over the top of that side, and boy, I tell you, you really start to, to close that off, uh, especially if you have this part in here, uh, which then fits over... top of it like that uh, to lock all that down so that can be done so how do how do we like that or how do I plan to light that so you don't have a ton of space in there you can see that right there there's not a ton of space in there but here's what we're gonna do the first thing is is that I do have to route out a little bit of this this here a little bit of that there so that I have more a little more space Let's pull these off pull this out so what I've done is this is uh, my cob lighting and this actually has four bulbs in it which is really nice and so we're gonna practice with either one or two but I think I can do one like that and one glued in like that and then put this piece in front of it and that's gonna give me a super nice lighting that's gonna light up the six holes on the side it's gonna light up the the two displays these are not lit uh, we'll talk about that later those are not lit uh, but they um, they do get photo etch uh, inside those two little holes there and then you've got your display that's gonna go over it that we've got then on the side same thing here I can put one piece of this cob lighting uh, glued to that or glued to the inside of this. Um, but, uh, that's probably not ideal because that's just really short. But this will work um, very nice. We'll glue that piece of cob there, wire it and glue it there. And that'll provide lighting to all of those, all of those lights there. Same thing on this side, that'll provide cob lighting on that. So that just leaves two holes that need some backlighting. And those are right here uh, on each side. They get photo etch and they got a backlight film here that go into there. So I think uh, what I'm going to do again is I'm going to shave down this part here. I'm going to shave it down there and there and that'll open that wide open and then I have just one um, piece of one inch LED that will go right here uh, behind the landing bay maybe in front I think behind is fine and um, that'll go across there that's a one inch piece that'll go across there we can glue it in wire it in 
and I can wire all of this in from one side once I've got that and then just one run one wire here to the back which will um, the wiring is going to come out here at the bottom so after we've got that in this fits in something like that I think is how that goes in yeah so once you have those two pieces that'll go in so I can put this piece right here it shouldn't interfere with the uh, it should not interfere with the landing bay and then simply drill a hole right here drill a hole right there and then drill a hole right here to run my my power in through it and so there'd just be one set of lights coming in from the cockpit back to here, uh, and then the three from the engines, and then the three lights from the um, navigation and anti-collision lights. So that, and these have been painted with two coats of black primer, a coat of white primer inside of it, and then I have stripped off all of the paint uh, on that edge on both sides so that that will close up. I also have painted up the engine cowlings. These fit over the top, something like this at some stage. And this really goes together kind of wonky, but that will fit like that. Um, there's just a lot of work to be done here on the building. So um, those fit in like, like that uh, assembly, not really worried about it. On the, um, on the wings, uh, I still have not worked out my gun placement yet, or how to figure that out yet. I will at some stage, but um, there's really not an easy way to get lighting or wire or anything up to this. So here's what I'm thinking at the moment. Um, here's what I'm thinking at the moment. So with the drill bit, I can drill right through here to there and that'll get me up inside of the gun it's going to be very precise but we'll get there I think so with that gun emplacement like I said I, I have I think I've got enough room I can drill through here to the gun emplacement and then I'm kind of going to do the same thing that I did with the uh, heads up display. I'm going to drill uh, all of this out from front to back, back to front, uh, using my uh, you know, larger drill bits. I can get pretty good ways down from the, from the back right there. You can see the length that I can drill. Now it takes a lot of time, practice, patience, but I can drill all the way up to there. And then using a smaller drill bit, probably the one I've got in there right now, even a touch smaller than that. Teeny tiny for the very front end and then open it up a little bit more and I should be able to, to make that connection. And my intent is, as I'm thinking right now, is to place another little tiny SMD in here facing forward and then run a piece of carbon uh, fiber optic from the front to the back to make those guns work. Now they'll be on all the time. I don't, unless I put a flasher in there, but I'm not planning on putting a flasher, um, timing flasher in there. I'm only gonna use uh, a little flasher. So, um, from my flytron.com. Now, one thing about uh, this Mobius kit that I'm not happy with, this is the uh, um, starboard side wing. I actually am victimized by a short shot. So you can see that right there is a, a short shot of plastic where the mold did not fill up 100% of the way. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, tape that off, fill it with some hard putty. I, I, on, fill that with some hard putty because that is filled in and I don't want to lose that detail. So that's going to be a kind of a delicate little piece right there. You can see on this side, I do not have the same problem. That's been filled in fine. So fortunately it's on an area where I think I can make that happen, but you can see the short shot there uh, between the two. 
and that is <clears throat> a bit of a challenge, but we'll get there. And then finally, the last thing I did was took my little tiny drill bit, because I'm only going to need to run two little wires, uh, that, uh, that gauge, uh, from here out. And this is already inside of the, the base of the model, so that is going to give me a, a space for wiring chases. What I have not worked out yet is the wiring chases for this. Um, so the wings fit in something like this. So that fits in like that. You can see I can bring my wiring up and I can bring it. I've got a little hole drilled here to bring it through. And that then ends up inside of here and then goes down into there. So this is still going to be a wiring challenge because it kind of has to fit together then you glue it. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of that, but that's, that's what we're working on. So uh, the next step, you saw that I've got the, you saw that I've got the uh, photo etch ready to prime and paint for the back of the engines. I've also got the photo etch here all laid out uh, so this is ready to prime and paint uh, went through and did all the nubs and so forth so that that's ready to prime and paint and I'm going to paint that a uh, uh, against this light gray of the interior uh, against that light gray of the interior I'm going to use a steel uh, a color, probably steel, probably that's absolutely the name of it. So right here, that is steel, uh, and it's an acrylic steel, and it really looks nice. That'll be a nice contrast to that. I uh, used that steel recently on the um, a chronoplane, so we'll use that steel color for this photo etch. And then uh, that will be a nice backdrop against the lighted uh, panels here, uh, the panels. And if you light that up from the back, those are going to look really good. These are the engine diffusers here, those three circles. And then that's all of your, uh, your interior stuff. So kind of kind of cool. All right. That is the uh, current progress on the Mobius uh, 132nd scale Viper Mark II. Um, Seems like it's going to go together pretty hard and it's going to be pretty challenging. But uh, I think I've got the lighting figured out for the cockpit. I've got the lighting figured out for the wings. And then uh, we will have to figure out the engines, which I have not done yet. Because that uh, is going to work out. I guess that's backwards. Just to, just to prove that I can do it, there's how that wing would go on that side. Just like that. Um, and I think this cups over that. Some stage. Anyway, uh, so we'll we'll have to we'll have to work forward from there and uh, uh, go from there. All right, this is Floppy Modeler. We will see you soon. Thank you. Okay, hey, welcome back uh, to the um, Mobius One Thirty Second Viper Mark II working on the interior build here and I have uh, I'm actually kind of pleased with this a light gray uh, I use sky gray to paint the interior um, just a solid color and then um, fortunately I found this uh, Steinel Rens Steinel Rens Steinel Res that's it I think and this is SNR 412 metal and um, it's a primer but it's and it's a water-based acrylic polyurethane surface primer um, and I was going to prime these and then paint them with steel but it turns out I really like the color uh, that uh, that's here so uh, for the most part I, I I'm going to leave it as is you can see here is the uh, front uh, heads up display and uh, so there's three components to that that fit in there <clears throat> I went ahead and put in my photo etch uh, around that particular piece there 
and I like uh, the look of that. I do have to touch up uh, a little bit of that, but for the most part, uh, also excited there. So um, the next step now is to, to do my wiring, and there's a couple of items that might be a little tough, and that's figuring out, I think, uh, just trying to, to route wiring might be the biggest challenge here, but I think with these openings here, I'm going to be all right. So as I stated, I'm going to put two of uh, these cob lights. Um, one I'm going to put in like so, and then the other little half-inch section like so. Uh, first one, I'm just going to put one in there and see how it lights all this up, because there's already an LED light, uh, an SMD light, in the, that headpiece there. It's glued in. And uh, I am going to have to probably use some like some black um, uh, tulip or black paint on the back side of that in order to light block it. But uh, we'll see how the rest of this goes. So right now I've got my uh, tools ready to go here for um, right now I've got some tools here ready to go for soldering. And um, basically I've got my helping hands, my torch for stripping wire my solder this is the wrapping wire black and red and then I've got my cob lighting and then I'll put a resistor on that yet to figure that out so let me go to work on this and when we come back uh, we'll have some soldering done thanks all right welcome back to uh, the Mobius 132nd scale Viper mark 2 very uh, pleased about uh, progress so far cockpit is essentially almost done I need to um, I need to add these two pieces on the sides here and I think I can show you that those kind of just come down like so fit under there and this on here same thing comes down the side fits into there. So those do fit underneath uh, the, the cowling, if you will. Got my decals uh, in here. As you can see, the decals are in uh, the side cockpit area. <clears throat> those have turned out really nice. Did some extra decaling on uh, the side controls and the front. And I can light that up, I think, pretty easily. And uh, I still have to do uh, a little more once I get these glued in uh, there'll be just a little bit more light blocking to take care of but not bad so uh, once that's in it actually looks really nice um, so there is a couple of spots that I'll have to glue in uh, and clamp and if I get those clamped right that should work pretty good but uh, very pleased with this particular um, Putting that LED in there really, really turned out nice. Uh, that SMD inside that front heads-up display, and then you've got your your other displays here, and the decals look good. Not in quite enough lighting. A little bit of lighting in the red there, and a little bit of lighting up here. Uh, I would have liked more lighting on the side, but uh, it just isn't isn't coming through well enough. But that's okay. So that is. Um, the cockpit and that is uh, almost ready to go. I've got to um, glue in the throttle and then um, the the joystick goes in with the pilot so we'll see how that goes. Next I'm working on a little bit more photo etch and um, in dealing with that the instructions say to um, round up these two pieces and, and make it round in there. Well. I know my skill set well enough that if I round those up, they're going to look terrible. But they, because the other pieces are um, were flat rectangle, the plastic, the styrene was flat and rectangular. I didn't have any problem with making these flat and rectangular as well. And so, um, just popping those pieces off, and I think uh, that looks pretty good. And then. On this, use a little diamond file, and that file's really pretty fast, pretty nice. To where 
where you lose that, uh, that edge. Same thing here. You just don't want that nub. Now I will say this, using that flat chisel knife blade to cut these out leaves just virtually no, no nubs hardly at all, but you can still see them. So like I said, just grab your, your file there real quick. Quick a minute, as I used to say in Northern Indiana. Get all four of those little nubs. And you'll kind of feel it when you've got it because it stops catching on that brass and it just kind of glides across. So these have already been glued down and the next step is I just want to glue this next step down here. Now a challenge is is that you don't want to get a bunch of glue in that that framework, right? So um, I'm going to use a new glue that I got. I just, uh, saw a recommendation online, Ultra Glue for photo etch and clear parts. It's acrylic, it's a white glue, it dries clear. And so what I did was simply uh, load some up into a little syringe like this. And here's my part, so I'm just gonna take this, just put a little bit onto my, onto my napkin. And then what I wanna do is I wanna put glue just on the outside edges of that. I don't want to fill up any of those spots. Fill up any of the textures, I should say. And that should be enough for that. And then I want to be careful not to fill up that texture by getting sloppy with the glue here. So we're going to try. Once I'm there, I'm going to take a little bit of a Q-tip. Kind of clean that up a little bit. that is my result and I'll, I'll tell you I'm very happy with that I think that that is now going to uh, paint up quite nicely and I can see where if you were to round it it would follow this contour here 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 and here but there's enough demarcation there that I'm not going to worry about that at all so I'm gonna do another little shot of glue here onto and there's no structure here you're just trying to keep that part from falling off in the long run and just do a little tack down same thing here with not filling that up That is done. I think that looks nice. I think it looks good for photo etch. And again, I've had my challenges in the past with photo etch, as we're all aware. So being able to get to that stage, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, the only two pieces of photo etch, uh, three, four pieces of photo etch left are the details that are go onto the engines. And those will almost be the absolute last thing I do. So we'll put that to the side. I do have the other photo etch. Uh, has a metal finish on it that I used my um, primer finish. Uh, this right here, which is the uh, Styro Steinol Res Steinol Res uh, surface primer, and that's all that that is. I might put a color on it, but I haven't decided yet. So uh, that is uh, progress on this. Um, we're uh, ready to do the next couple of things. So here is progress on the uh, guns. Let's go ahead and turn a little light on there. 
and you can see the lights coming through. So that is going to have a, I'm going to do a, a Arduino flasher circuit for that. And uh, what I might do yet is clip off, uh, when I was drilling through there I had a little bit of challenge. What I might do yet is clip that end off right here and then glue on a piece of copper that fits that size because I think the other one has the same um, the other one has the same same problem with it it's been cut down to size so I might just try to glue on uh, it's probably 1 16th copper uh, at the very smallest but both of those guns have been drilled so my intent is uh, to um, drill up through the bottom here. Sorry as I work this out as I go. My intent is is to work is to drill okay so we're gonna be something like that when it goes on. So what I have to do is get a wire through here and up into the back of that and then um, once I'm up here I'm gonna put an LED in there uh, a surface mount LED in there it's gonna be really tiny but I think I can get it in there wire it and then once it's wired use the fiber optic line to go from the, the front of the gun go from the front of the gun back to about here maybe here we'll have to see how all this comes together I may not be able to use those pegs that's probably going to be the trick is to take the pegs out wire an SMD here pointing forward and then um, once those are in, then I can then just feed this. You can imagine just feeding this um, fiber optic down to about there, about a third, or you know, all except for a third of the gun, and then that light will shine forward and fill that up. So I think that's the the process I'm going to take. But again, I need to do some more work on the guns. But I did get those drilled. And the next step would be after they're drilled to um, to fill them with a to get them working with a uh, an LED. So we're going to work on this some more, but uh, for right now uh, we have made good progress. I feel I have. So the next step is I'm going to glue on those two side panels, and once those are glued on, then um, we should be in uh, in good shape. All right, I'll be back with you. Thanks. Okay, hey, working on uh, some of the lighting for the Viper Mark II here. And this is the uh, port side wing. I have painted the gun my uh, titanium color. I really like that, and we'll detail it later. And then just taped it into its receiving spot. And then I painted this section here, my white gloss that I'm going to use for the whole ship, because I think that's going to be tough to, to tape off afterwards, the way that this gun sits in there. Um, but that's just temporary, and then of course I have my my uh, chase wiring chase that it comes out here. At the same time, I have my port side red LED, and that's the 0402, the tiniest ones that I've seen, the Pico or whatever they're called, uh, super glued in there uh, into that that corner, and that is um, uh, then uh, routed into the the lower half of the wing set and again it's just a quick hole into that and now my uh, goal is to pull these tight these four wires tight or at least semi tight keep them out of the way and be able to close that up pull that down a little tight and then that whole thing will slide inside of here just to show you that whole section slides into there 
and we are, I guess it closes up just like that. You want to close that up tight against there so you don't have a gap. But that closes up uh, just, just really nice and my wiring is ready to go. And actually I'm going to feed the wiring uh, into this piece here yet. And then that will feed down right to here uh, as this sits over the top of that like so. Um, so that uh, is very, very cool where this, uh, this wing is. So, so I'm not going to wire resistors in yet. I'm not going to wire any resistors till I get it into this section here or get it coming out of the bottom of that, quite honestly. Um, and once it's coming out of the bottom of that portion, uh, then I can um, wire resistors into it and make it happen. But before I do that, I wanted to get that, that um, gun in place. I wanted to get this wing glued up. And um, this one is, is in great shape. So I'll get this glued up and then start sanding it. I'll work on that seam and I'll work on these, these edge seams here because they're going to take a little bit of work, all this back here. Uh, now you can see how nice that that um, little LED sits in that. And I don't know if I can, maybe I can light that up real quick uh, if I can find a resistor. red wire it might be and which black wire it might be, I don't know. Alright, so just checking here to see if that's going to light anything up. It does not. So let's see if this is the other one. In red here. polarity. Alright, careful. So this is my... Working off camera too. So I'll edit that down a little bit. Alright, so uh, trying to light this up here somewhat, maybe. Let's see if we can make that happen. Here is uh, my one negative. I need to maybe trim that. There's the negative wire for one of the lights in there. I don't know which one. Let's see if the positive wire... Now again, I don't have the resistor wired in, so I'm just using it on the end there. And yeah, oh, and look at that. Look how nice that looks already. When I glue that up, I'll also put a piece of... Uh, uh, of um, I'll put uh, some... Uh, micro crystal clear over it, let that dry, and then after the micro crystal clear is on, then I'll add um, a drop of um, liquid mask to work around that. But that's my red. Uh, very, very happy with that. And then, of course, the other one is the gun. And you kind of highlighted that before. Let's just take a quick look. Now that I've got some paint on that, Let's see if I've got enough paint. I don't know if I do or not. There's the black. So this one. Kind of doing a light test. Maybe I don't have a light for 
the gun that's working. Well, that would not be fun, but not unrecoverable. Let's try the other black one. All right, I'll be back with you after I get this figured out. All right, hey, uh, welcome back to the Sloppy Modeler. Welcome back to the Viper Mark II. Uh, we really have a, a mess on our hands, but um, but progress. So I've got the first coat of primer on this, and uh, we're just going to get to the sanding here after a bit. But uh, I noticed on the bottom of the Mark II that there is uh, this piece here fits on the bottom like so and gives you this this look here and this is where the front landing gear fits in there which is somewhere around here uh, right there front landing gear sits in something like that once it's all painted up now in the mark one uh, the original i uh, went to great lengths to put a, a set of headlights on the front of that landing gear because i've seen richard hatch's um viper uh, on the ground and it had that but uh, this uh, particular piece has got two um, it's got two uh, indents here that look like headlights and that would be on the landing gear side so what I'm gonna do is drill that out so that I can put in a pretty sizable set of LEDs in there. Yeah, so I've got uh, two really nice holes in there, and I think I've got uh, more than enough room to put in a set of uh, the big 0805 SMDs in there. I'm not going to put in LED, a full-size LED because there's not a lot of room, but there is room in there for that uh, for a couple of those, and then run the wires back. So um, definitely pleased with uh, that discovery there. So we're going to add uh, lights there. The other thing that I did um, was added a space here in the back of the back engine uh, and that is going to be um, for a flickering blue LED, 5 mil flickering blue LED, that's big enough. And then here is the next construction challenge on the Mark II is this is how this back piece goes on to here and, and that's fine. But there's really nothing to glue um, a set of uh, um, really nothing to glue a set of, of SMDs against that uh, or LEDs in there. So my plan is to create uh, um, something along this line here Actually, I don't need to shave that off. Shave that down. And now we'll look at the height here. And again, this is hopefully to give me something to glue to. Come on now. All right, so this should give me something to glue to here. back and then what I'll try to do is, is glue this down here uh, now remember you probably want an offset of some sort so that uh, you can glue that in the center so if you glue it right in there that's not going to fly so 
so I guess the next step would be to take this down like so and glue that in like that. So I don't know if you can see that, but glue that in like that and then you should be able to glue an S uh, LED right to that. So again, if I check my height here and if I cut this about right there. Now I can come in and again, glue that to the left like so, and I'll probably put epoxy in there to hold that. And then if you add the back piece here, now you've got something to glue to. Just hold it for a second. Well, it'll go in something like that. And then I can put that LED right at the top of the center. So I'm going to make one for the other one, and that gives me my three LEDs in the back, um, which is just fine. And again, same thing, just clip that, clip off a short section here, and then that one can fit in like so. Again, same thing, it's now ready to, to glue our epoxy in. I'll probably make that even a little shorter, but you can epoxy that in and then glue a 5 mil uh, directly to it. So that is a little bit of construction there on the Viper, getting it uh, up and running from uh, uh, engine lighting, uh, if you will. So that uh, maybe even a little better right there. You can see that that would be pretty much right in the center of a 5 mil, uh, be right in the center of that, and get us uh, the ability to have something to glue to. All right. That's just a quick update, and I will be back. Thanks. Okay, hey, uh, welcome back to the Sloppy Model, or welcome back to the uh, Viper Mark II. And uh, we want to talk about uh, the total mess that we've got in front of us, but uh, very uh, pleased with a lot of the progress uh, at this stage. So first of all, painting white gloss is not easy nor fun. It takes a uh, significant amount of time and uh, paint and gloss and uh, time and sanding and buffing and polishing and repainting. So that is uh, that is the fun stuff. Regardless, uh, we are uh, we're basically out of the paint on the major components. And uh, let's talk about uh, we've got some more painting to do on uh, some of the smaller stuff, but we'll we'll go from there. So first thing we'll look at is the back. Of the um, of the Viper, our engine exhaust, and essentially I painted this with uh, a uh, brushed pewter, and um, then went ahead and detailed painted in all of these uh, uh, black, and then I used some copper, and on the fans I used copper fan blades and a little copper piping there because that looks like it would be a heat exchanger uh, for the most part. Uh, this is going to get uh, one of the um, one of the diffusers, so it'll be something like this. That'll get a diffuser there, uh, but in front of that will be uh, a steel uh, version of the photo etch, and then the lights will go behind that. So that is um, uh, the rear side, and then I I just used a regular my regular white, and I think I'm gonna need a couple more coats here, but I wanted to bring that up as white as the other stuff, and we're close, but not quite there. Uh, that's just hand painted, and uh, I am pleased with the way that turned out, but I, I need to do a little more work on that to, to uh, really set that off, but very, very pleased with the back of that. That was one of the worries that I was really having. On the landing gear, uh, there are three sets of uh, landing uh, tripods here, or landing pods, and uh, essentially that is a uh, zinc uh, from um, just uh, craft paint zinc on that, with uh, titanium on this uh, ex um, on this um, shock absorber there, and uh, those go in. Now I will say this: these go together terribly. Uh, 
I had to do a significant amount of sanding and polishing and chain and and shaping just to get that and they're not done yet so there's yet a wheel that goes in here and uh, a wheel goes in there and then that uh, base will fit on the bottom of it and I think this one here just to give you kind of an example that's supposed to fit in like that so I have to paint uh, shape and paint those yet but those will come together uh, pretty nicely the uh, rear wing, uh, very pleased with the gloss and the finish on that. Uh, I do have a, a, a strobe light on the top of this, so when that uh, gets um, peeled off, that'll be the, the triple strobe. So that is, is done. This is the two of the intakes. And again, that white gloss has been uh, done. And it really, basically, I used a, a really a nice uh, gloss white, buffed it and polished it with my uh, nail polisher. So I was using like uh, side six and seven and four and five here to really get us before I went with the gloss. And then when the gloss went on, that really uh, uh, turned out very nice. So I'm pleased with that. Then I went ahead and um, uh, used uh, steel uh, color for the intakes and that looks good. I might use some black wash and that that might might come together. For the wings uh, these have all been done with a again a white gloss. I have to do some detail painting on the guns uh, but uh, the seams and everything else turned out really nice on that. Uh, and um, the gloss is there, so this will decal up really nice, and then that is ready to go with my four wires. There's a light here on the edge, and then there's a, uh, the gun light uh, in both of the wings. So that is done and prepped. On the engine cowling that goes up over the top, that goes something like that. I guess something like this somewhere. Uh, again, that white gloss is all done, and then I went ahead and detail painted in uh, the engine detail, and I just used a little bit of, of copper here. Uh, nope, I used metallic brown, which I think looked really nice uh, in there. And again, I'm trying to go for a pristine look on this, so we'll, we'll see how it all finalizes and comes together, but that detail has been painted in both of the engine cowlings. And that's good. Here is the lower section, and I've got my gloss paint done there. And in there, I also used uh, silver on that front edge. And then this is uh, still masked off. There's two headlights in there. And I went with 1000K resistors, because I didn't want those super bright. I didn't want them blinding this time. And then we've got, um, I think you remember, I was putting in my, um, I guess I can pull these off now, we're done painting. Uh, these are the, flickering blue lights that are going to go uh, behind. It'll go something like this when this all goes together, if I can get it. Yeah, so that's what that's going to look like from the back. And actually, I'm very pleased with that. Very, very pleased with that. Um, this section here, that, like I said, a little more touch up on the white, and I, I think I've got it. But uh, that gives me those lights are going to be right there. Uh, you can see the lights are going to be right there uh, you know, from the back. And that is, is, is done. Um, and next I have to glue in the... Um, next I have to glue in my landing gear. And you'll see it'll go something like that. I've got to get those coated up with white and so forth. But the landing gear will go in. And then once the landing gear is in, we come back. And these fit in uh, like so. And there are indents for that. But that fits in like that. And it gives you your alignment. So hopefully those will fit down real nice. I think that's going to look real sharp coming out of there. Um, real, real sharp. So the indents that I'm talking about, you've got two um, locator spots, but you've got these indents right here that give you your alignment. So there's one on that side, one on that side. And I think if you, if you epoxy those in, you're going to be more than more than fine at that stage.
All right, so that's uh, the, the bottom of this. Uh, ready to wire up here in the back. There's, there's some, uh, my wires are here, so that's awesome. Then we come to the, um, then we come to the main fuselage, and uh, this has been uh, clear coated. And my Arduino Nano, or Micro actually, I've got four pins coming off of that. One pin is for the, um, one pin is going to be for, sorry, just got distracted there for a second trying to get this done. See if we can light that up at all. One pin is for the main cabin, and then the other pins, one pin is for the guns. One pin, and you see I've got lights coming through the bottom here. Uh, but that's going to be all covered up, so I'm awesome with that. Uh, but I'm not going to take the canopy off right now, but there's light into the back, so that works. This was about the only place I could find that would work for putting that in there, and I used a 25-pound double-stick tape to, uh, to stick that in, and it's not going anywhere. And I only have the one light. So one pin is for the main cabin. One pin is for... Uh, the headlights, I'm sorry, one pin is for the cabin and the headlights. One pin is for um, the guns that flash at a different rate. One pin is for the triple blink on top of the wing, or on top of the, the vertical stabilizer. And one pin is for the double blink rates on the nav lights. So that's my connection right there, and uh, once all those are connected, then we're, we're going to be in great shape. So that is in place. Um, I've got the front done, but this gets a decal around it, but it gets painted on the interior wise, so I'll, I'll have to work through that. And then I need to tape this off and spray this interior here. And one of the things I want to try to do is keep these three lines white because uh, it looks like it's part of the framework so we, I want to spray inside of it but I'm going to use the tape to cover that and give me a, a little bit and then this is going to be uh, like I think I'm going to use titanium silver from uh, Tamiya X32 Tami uh, titanium silver I'll spray this after I tape it off and then this is like black this will be white uh, or, or not totally black it'll be like a, I might use like black pearl on that and just do the detail painting in there here's my photo etch I think that looks really nice in there nice detail uh, and the canopy is an, actually a different color and I'm gonna use um, a sky gray for that which is gonna be something like this right here the canopy frame is a different color than the, the color of the white so that was an interesting look one thing that I did uh, discover, I just got the new book, uh, the Battle Ships of Battlestar Galactica, and unfortunately, I already had this completed. Uh, on the ships, this is normally a, a red light on each of these points. I'm going to have a, a light here, um, so they would have red lights on on all four points, but instead, I've got I'm going to paint those red and then use again my blinky um, this one here is the port side so my blinky green there uh, I'm sorry blinky red there and blinky green on the other side now um, find the other wing I was super pleased with the way my uh, body work filled out so if you remember I had that short shot where it didn't have enough plastic in this wing right here and to me that turned out really really nice so I'm definitely thrilled and pleased with with that um, next thing to do is paint up the landing gear uh, pads the landing gear wheels the um, landing gear uh, covers so I have to I'll just tape those down to and prime them and paint them and once those are primed and painted, while those are drying, uh, my next step is to take the bottom, take the top, and that will fit in something like something like.
like that. And then once that's in, I can wire it all from the back. Uh, and the one cha a challenge with this kit is when you wire this in, uh, one challenge with this kit when you wire it in is that you have to put it together before you can wire it. Um, so, like this piece here slides in like so. Uh, nope, this piece here slides in like so. Uh, this front end down, that's one thing that I've over and over again practiced. So that fits in like that. And it's got a light in it for the, the last engine flickering blue. So there's my wires for that. Uh, and then um, this will fit in once you get this piece on. And again, it's kind of like a Chinese puzzle here. Everything kind of goes together after a while. So just to show you what that challenge is, I'll try to do it here live. So sliding your there. Then putting one side of this on. These fit in like so. Okay, and then what I've been doing is putting this piece in so you have a little bit, no, nope. maybe like this. So you've got to get, sorry, you've got to get this piece under as a support, which means you got to turn, there we go. So that's underneath that section there. Then the next step, the next step is to get the other piece on. Found you have to kind of go in like this to get it to fit. All right, so now we've got those two, and that'll go together really nice. Really nice. Okay, so now we're there, and the next step is to add. And you can see all of my wires here, but that's all right. And the next step is to add the lower section. Which covers that up. That fits. That fits. Okay. So that is there. Then you have to fit in this piece here before you glue it in. That means feeding your wires down through. doing here. Sorry folks. Oh, I, had it. I had it.
and I will give it to Mobius. All this stuff kind of locks together. If I can get it to glue up later on, and that's the next challenge. And it does fit pretty nicely. Oh, I've got a wire out there, but I'm not going to mess with it now. And then this last piece would fit on the back, but that's not going to go in with all those wires. So now, now you can see I got my wiring mess, but I've got them up. Oh, I've got them 80% there. The other thing you would do is slide that in and you're going to have those four wires. So it's going to be a wiring challenge with how tiny it, it all has to go together. But um, the key is, I think, is that this can sit here, pop these back off. Except once it locks in, it locks in pretty nice. Once it releases, it releases. Um, so once you've got this piece here, oh, let's push that back down. You actually have to take your wing and that slides in like so and locks in. Locks in right there. So to wire this I'll put both wings in. Here's the other one. And you really want to put these in before you put the bottom on. Because that locks down. So all this stuff is interlocking tabs and the engineering is really quite quite impressive. But now I've got uh, eight more wires I've got to deal with. So here I will be able to wire the guns and I'll be able to wire the nav lights. So those will be in and then the rest of the stuff will be in from main lighting. The headlights up here, the engines. Um, I'm going to just bring in under a, a separate circuit because that I don't want to run off the Arduino. It doesn't produce enough juice to run that. So we will uh, have to wire all of this stuff first and it's a tangled mess but it'll work and that's going to give you your uh, that's going to give you your your basis then put on those extra wings put on the, uh, the engine cowling I should say once the engine cowling is on then you can wire in the the last light which is the flashing beacon on top once that's in, then you can cap it with the back and hopefully have it just capped without having to glue that on. So if you need to get to that Arduino to program or get to any of that stuff, you can. Wow. So that is the uh, the Viper Mark II. I know it's been a little bit uh, uh, of, a, uh, of a drag or slog through here, but uh, very excited with the way this is starting to turn out. And just painting this has been a, a real exercise in, in, in getting this all done. But we are have made huge progress. All right, I'm going to let you go. Uh, uh, this is going to complete the first um, build log, build log number one. And build log number two, when we come back, will be um, the wiring and the gluing together and decaling, weathering, and uh, and and then that'll put this aside to go to the Mark 7. But very excited about this. Uh, I didn't think this would come together as nice as it has, but it surely has. Very much, uh, uh, very cool. I, I, I'm super thrilled, frankly. Um, but thank you. Thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, your shares, and uh, comments have been awesome. Thank you so much for those. And uh, when we come back, we will have uh, uh, starting on the, the glue up and the wiring. So that's kind of next. All right. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.